Let's see, can I? Let's, uh. Nope. Let's. That's bad. Today we're not in our usual location. We're not in New York right now. Actually, today we're in Walking. Walk. Walking? Walking? Walk. We're in England. We're out here just outside of London, England in Walking. Uh, and this is actually where McLaren is headquartered. McLaren is doing a special collaboration with OnePlus. And they invited me out here to see their brand new phone announcement, which is for the 6T McLaren edition. They've had a whole campaign around this called the Salute to Speed. Uh, and they're kind of playing on McLaren's racing heritage, McLaren's F1 racing heritage, uh, and the speed of what's to come in this brand new 6T, which I can't share with you guys just yet, uh, but we'll share with you guys very shortly. It's Right now it's 8.03, uh, I gotta catch the bus that leaves at 8. We're gonna head over to McLaren Technology Center, which is amazing to even think that. Uh, wait till you guys see this. If you guys don't know about McLaren Technology Center, about the McLaren headquarters, wait till you guys see this. You guys will not wanna miss out and see all the goodies. If you're a supercar fanatic, if you're a McLaren fanatic, if you're a car fanatic, or a cell phone fanatic in general, you're gonna be seeing a lot of cell phone news today as well, technology news. Bring me back to my iTouch iPod roots if you guys get that joke. Um, put it in the comments down below. We're gonna head over there now to the McLaren uh, headquarters. Crazy. Oh, and did I mention, I think OnePlus said I get to keep one of the phones at the end of the day and take a phone home with me. That's pretty cool. It's cold out in London. Oh, also, I brought the wrong adapters for everything, so I couldn't charge any of my stuff, so I charged via Pro tip, the USB port in the TV. There's always usually a USB port in the TV. Look for one of those. Uh, so I just, that's how I charged Vloggy last night. So you guys got a vlog because there was a TV in the room. Good job, Chris. Also, a little treat in the lobby of the hotel that we're in. No, <laughs> Just arrived here at McLaren. One plus little icons on all their uh, all the little light pillars here walking in. There's little birch trees everywhere. There's a little ambiance going on here at McLaren. Obviously, it's McLaren. McLaren very loud bag. Look at the camp. Like, I was gonna say campgrounds. Look at the grounds here at McLaren. Everything so far looks gorgeous. We're not even technically inside yet. I'm gonna walk inside real quick. So we just got a little badge right here, a little see-through badge right here. First thing we're gonna do this morning, uh, other than look at everything that they already have set up for us, is breakfast. Gotta figure out where the breakfast is and figure out where the coffee is, and then we'll take care of the rest of, kind of, I guess the big deal why we're really here today, uh, to check out the new OnePlus uh, device. Or, do you guys know which way we go? If you guys aren't aware of OnePlus, they're a very competitive smartphone, uh, very competitive within the price range of what their abilities are, what their phone is, much better lighting in here. Um, they're a Chinese-based smartphone brand, which I could tell you guys more about, but I've assumed most of you already subscribe to MK Beach to your unbox therapy and already know a bunch about this brand. But it's a phone that's based on Android, um, and that's new. It's new for me, so it'll be interesting to kind of uh, try that out, because like I said, I'm gonna be getting one of the phones, so it'll be cool to kind of try that out uh, and see what the whole Android world is about and see what the speed of this phone offers. You guys remember when I used to make tech review videos? All you guys comment on my page all the time. Be like, aren't you the guy from, they used to do the, the tech videos or the airsoft videos or whatever uh, on the uh, iTouch iPods account? That was that was me. So if you guys don't remember, look that up if you, can need a, if you need a good laugh. Look up iTouch iPods with a Z on YouTube and you'll, you'll get a good laugh. But it's cool to kind of be doing tech stuff again uh, and car stuff together. So thank you, thank you to OnePlus for that. This is sick. It's like we're in like a spaceship. This is sick. I feel like we're gonna like we're supposed to like sit down like the UN right now or something. Look at our look at the little setup we got going on right here. And multiple screens. So a lot of you guys may be wondering why OnePlus and why McLaren, why they're partnering together. Uh, well, if you guys have any extra knowledge, I assume all of you guys do about McLaren. Maybe not so much OnePlus since you guys are an automotive audience. With McLaren Speed, with McLaren's history in F1 racing, with all their victories, uh, they're partnering up with OnePlus to kind of bring that branding together. Uh, with that, whether it has to do with their fast charging, whether it has to do with being the fastest phone, because this phone's gonna have some special features that's gonna allow it to be much faster than anything else OnePlus has had or any other phone that's out there on the market just about has as well. They're coming together to kind of bring their whole branding of speed and winning and being the best together uh, to make this smartphone and to do this little deal together. Uh, we're gonna hear about that now, I think. Hopefully now. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to the McLaren Technology Center. I'd like to invite on stage Carlos Sainz and Melando Norris. What a surprise! 
So that pretty much wraps up the, the OnePlus McLaren uh, low conference keynote they did. Now we're going to actually go to get our hands on the devices themselves and check them out. A full day's charge in 20 minutes, that's insane. I almost feel bad for the guy that had to put this all together. That's sick. Full Lego version of the 720S. Hey Carl, do you think the gas pedal is also made out of Legos and you have to step on that to go? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just a haul here of all of McLaren's achievements and awards. Holy crap. Ooh. Oh, there's that lake in the path you guys see in all the photos online here at the McLaren headquarters. Ooh. F1. Actual F1. Oh. Ooh. Holy grail. That's so sick. So we have a little options today on our little badges that tell us what we're going to be doing today. One says a mystery challenge. So right now we're going to do, I believe, one of those, which is a pit stop challenge. So we're going to go figure out what that is. And then after this, we're going to get hands-on with the phone, uh, which is pretty rad. But inside here, we're inside the McLaren headquarters. I never thought I'd be in here. This is so cool. Oh, sir, Hold up. I got to break away from the group real quick. We have the speed tail. How sick is this in person? Oh, this is sick. All right, I gotta follow the group. Hold on, we'll, we'll come back, I hope. You've got uh, the gunman, you've got wheel off, and you have wheel on, okay? We're gonna start off with the gunman. Perfect, so it comes out, goes in. Now you switch the gun to forwards in the meantime. Here you go, yeah, press that button. Yeah, come back, switch it forwards. Angles, 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 fast. Now we're getting it. Three, two, one, go! 5.8, good guess. Not top of 10. Let's go. So our time, our team didn't have the best time that last round, but that's pretty cool. We got to do an actual like F1 pit stop kind of practice what that would be like uh, in person, which is pretty neat. Now we're gonna move on to our next little event, which we'll figure out what that is. Maybe it's hands-on, we'll see. Crispy media. That'd be me. Appreciate it. Friend, you saw yourself in the corner. Yep, you? thank you. Appreciate it, sir. Ooh. Hopefully these are to the speed tail out front. That would be nice. So I can only assume this key, oh, so it has my name in it. Can you guys see that? Ooh, it's so sick. So I'm gonna assume this key opens up these boxes? That's all I can assume. So let's go ahead and open this up, I think, if I can manage. Ooh, okay. So we have our salute to speed box right here. And inside here is where we're actually gonna have our phone. So we're gonna open this up, we can do our little unboxing. Uh, we can look at what's inside, show you guys the phone, actually for the first time in hands uh, as well, which would be really cool. You can see they've also brought over some other automotive YouTubers. You know, the familiar faces if you guys aren't aware. So we're gonna open up the McLaren 6T uh, One Plus Edition right here inside the McLaren uh, Technology Center. So let's go ahead and open this puppy up. On the side of the box here, we can see Salute to Speed as well as here on the front there. This side is in like a carbon fiber picture. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up with our key. We'll slide this cover off and we have this carbon fiber box right here that says McLaren on one corner and one plus on the other. Pop this open, ooh, fast and smooth. They must have known I was opening this up. We have a book right here that they talked about uh, in the unveiling, right here, Salute to Speed. We'll open this up and underneath here, we have our case, our fast charger, uh, and our cables. But first, let's check out the booklet right here. So we have Salute to Speed, McLaren One Plus here, on the outer side, dedicated to those in constant pursuit of speed. It's me trying to edit videos before you guys yell at me. Where's the HUF movie? <laughs> open up the book here, we go through, we can see a bunch of different McLaren racing history as well as one plus. As we get to the back of the book, we have one plus 60 McLaren edition, uh, which lists all of our specs. Uh, one of the biggest being that this phone has 10 gigabytes of RAM, which is crazy. It also has the warp charge. This is only available right now uh, on the McLaren edition of the 60. So you're able to fully get a full day's charge in at 20 minutes warp charge. And then we'll go ahead and open this up. Woo! There's our phone right there. Speed meets speed. So one plus meets McLaren. Get a little phone out here. Oh wow, this is cool. <laughs> this is sick. The packaging alone is so cool. This brings back all the memories about when I used to do tech reviews. Uh, we have our fingerprint recognition right there. Oof, this is cool. Let's go ahead and peel. Oof. 
It'll be hard to see, I'll get some footage of it later, but the carbon fiber kind of gradients down to the bottom of the phone. I don't know if you guys can really fully make that out there, but I'll get some close-up shots of it later. We have our cameras up there, we don't have our fingerprint scanner up there anymore, now that it's under the screen here. So down here under the carbon fiber we have the McLaren Papaya Orange, kind of that comes around the bottom. That kind of changes with the angle that you look at it. The orange intensifies kind of with the with the angle that you're which you're looking at it. Ooh, yeah. This is also branded OnePlus as well as McLaren on either side. Put that back in there. And we have our cable right here to charge as well. And underneath we have, because we no longer have a headphone jack because we have um, the in-screen uh, fingerprint scanner and the bigger battery, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter uh, to USB-C. Something that OnePlus does that's really cool is include cases within when you originally get the phone. So here we have a carbon fiber case. It's really nice, damn, look at that. Carbon fiber. Just put this on my car and consider it arrow. Ooh, this is cool. Our little piece of carbon fiber. Uh, wow, that is cool. We get our very own, this will focus. Maybe it will, maybe one. There we go, we have our very own piece of carbon fiber from McLaren. Oh, look at that in the sun. Oh yeah. That's sick. I'm just gonna put this patch on my car. Ooh, that's cool. I gotta set this up real quick. So just kind of finished setting up the phone, and right now it's telling us to take some photos of the book, uh, to scan the book, because it's gonna do something or, and re, un, or show us something that we weren't normally able to see. So let's go ahead. Whoa. Augmented reality, what is this? Oh, so I could turn the pages of the book and see them in color through the app. That's a pretty cool touch, McLaren. And OnePlus, obviously. We'll get this real quick again. Ooh, a video plays through the phone. See, no video? Video. No video? Video. This is cool. Wow. But here's the phone in person. We'll show you more about it in a second if it focuses. There we go. Uh, OnePlus McLaren, which I not to drop it because I would be the first one to drop it. <laughs> not gonna do that. We'll come back and show you guys some details like the notch up there or the lack thereof a notch. The fingerprint scanner in action, uh, the design of the phone overall in a little bit. But uh, we gotta run real quick. Uh, but here's the phone. Cool. The lighting inside here at the technology center is immaculate because all the light, well it's almost a little bit too bright. The light bounces off the lake right here and just lights up all the cars. We made our way over here to the Senna that they have inside. The speed tail decided to run away, but we got some shots of it before, so hopefully you guys saw a few of those. But inside here, uh, we're going to take a look at the Senna as well, because I've yet to actually see one in person. So let's try the fingerprint scanner that's underneath the screen here. You guys can see there's no actual fingerprint scanner, so let's go ahead and awake our phone. So go ahead, we see we're prompted down there to put our fingerprint hold our fingerprint down there and the phone is unlocked through the phone. There's no actual physical uh, fingerprint scanner. It's actually underneath the screen. It actually shines more light through the AMOLED screen. Am <laughs> I can't even say that. I can't say that correctly. So what it's actually doing there is shining light through the screen onto your fingerprint to go ahead and read it through the screen, which is really cool. Here with the Senna in the background, I'll show you guys the rear of the phone. You guys can see the carbon fiber here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that flare that comes off that. Ooh, like a little rainbow flare coming off there. We have our cameras up top there, but look at the carbon fiber weave in the phone that goes down and kind of fades into the McLaren logo down there at the bottom. There's just so much to see here, and there's so much to take in, and with the, just like not just the scenery alone, but all the cars inside here, uh, the the architecture, the cars themselves, the other people that are here, the other social media, posters, the phone itself, the whole reason why we're here, the OnePlus 6T McLaren edition. There's just so much going on. They have a cool little setup down there of all the old OnePlus phones uh, set up. 
we were doing that pit stop challenge down there. You guys can hear the guys screaming down there doing their own pit stop challenge. Uh, just having a great time overall so far. Uh, plus food is coming up, so that's also a good thing. The carbon fiber weave in the back of the phone uh, looks so good and definitely reminds you that you're looking or holding something that McLaren had a part in that. Um, maybe it's like an MSO style phone from OnePlus, uh, if, you were to, if you were to say something like that. Um, definitely want to throw my sim in this. Give this a little shot. How quick this uh, facial recognition opens up too is so cool. Uh, but there's so much just going on right here. Our time is almost winding down. Um, I'm going to try to walk you guys through as we go out. I'm going to try to walk you past a few more things here. Um, we saw the center real quick. Uh, we'll walk past a few of the F1 cars and whatever else they have down there for you guys to see before we uh, before we head out. So we have the McLaren P1 right here. You guys have seen me do a bunch of track days with that. Uh, but we haven't seen, we have the F1, the actual F1 over here, and the F1 GTR. These right here are the Holy Grails. And these are also what the speed tail uh, was based after as well with the center, center seat. <sighs> give a quick, give you guys a quick walk around, make sure no one's filming. Give you guys a quick walk around of the F1 GTR. Also, they're working on the F1 cars, like literally right now inside there, right behind us. And then we have the actual F1 right here, the non-GT. But this, this is the holy grail. So we just got done with the event, we just wrapped up. We also got free t-shirt on the way out of the event, so shout out to OnePlus and shout out to McLaren for that. Uh, as well as the phone, I'm definitely looking forward to trying out the phone. It was really cool seeing all of McLaren's old F1 race heritage, seeing how McLaren uh, took their design aspects, took uh, the idea of the carbon fiber to put into the phone, of them being like the first to introduce carbon fiber into F1, uh, now introducing it into this new phone, OnePlus is super cool. Otherwise, I just want to give a huge shout out to OnePlus, I want to give a huge shout out to McLaren as well for letting us come around their campus, let us tour this, let us see everything on the inside. Thank you to OnePlus for letting us have the phone, for bringing this, making this all possible, bringing me out to London. Uh, well, walking is where we are now, but just outside of London. But definitely, once again, shout out to OnePlus. If you guys are interested, make sure you check out the links in the video description down below. Uh, if you want to check out more about the OnePlus 60 McLaren Edition, where you can get your hands on it and when. Also, is pricing information down below. I believe in the U.S. it's $699. Here it's £649 and £699 in the U.S. For a phone with 10 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, it's really not a bad price compared to other phones out there on the market. As well as all the new technology it has with the under-the-screen fingerprint sensor, the sensor under the screen fingerprint sensor, the AMOLED screen. This was just an awesome time. Seeing all this in real, in like, in person was cool after seeing this light site and this location uh, in so many Instagram posts and in so many YouTube videos. Uh, it was really cool. And also getting to meet some other tech reviewers because I used to do tech reviews. And also getting to meet some other automotive YouTubers as well was really neat. Uh, so thank you again to OnePlus for that. And uh, the video ends here. We'll see you in the next one.